This video illustrates how to use the Layer 7 utility to migrate from a Cisco Ace XML gateway to the Layer 7 gateway. The AXG migration utility is documented in the Cisco Ace XML gateway to Layer 7 gateway migration guide. This guide describes a complete methodology for such migrations and includes the migration utility illustrated here. The migration utility is a policy installed on the Layer 7 gateway. Its user exports the AXG configuration as a PPF file and uploads this AXG export to the Layer 7 gateway via the migration utility policy. Let's look at this policy using the Layer 7 Policy Manager. It contains style sheet and logical branch structures that interpret the incoming PPF configuration file. I'm now connecting to the migration utility using a web browser. It has an input form which allows me to upload the PPF export to the Layer 7 gateway. Now back to my target gateway, let's refresh the assets list to make sure there's nothing left from a previous migration. So there's no services, there doesn't seem to be any schemas either uh, in the global resources from any previous AXG import. So let's go ahead and import our PPF file onto our target gateway. When the import is complete, I can see the list of assets imported on the gateway. Back to the target gateway, we refresh our assets list and now we see all the AXG handlers that have been imported. We can also see that all of the XML schemas are used in policy have been imported to this target gateway. If we open the properties of one of those new services, we see that the service is by default disabled. We see that the service name has been migrated. The service entry point is also mapped automatically. And as is often the case with AXG uh, exports, the sole service was not actually configured with a WSDL. So the migration utility created a placeholder WSDL and the strict WSDL based classification is disabled. You can always come back here and add to the WSDL to take advantage of Layer 7's automatic WSDL based validations. Now, if we open a policy for that service, we see that the AXG migration utility documented the original AXG configuration right into the policy. This facilitates the migration process. The policy is already configured with all the schemas, SOAP actions, and, and SOAP version validations that came from AXG. And we also see that the routing rules are automatically added. And in this case, we have a dynamic routing, also known as branch routing. Up near the, the beginning of the policy there, if we have a look at the, the access provision for the service, we see that in this case, AXG refers to an HTTP basic auth group access provision. So at this point, you can refer back to the AXG configuration to configure a similar or, or better behavior in layer seven. So in this case, I will add uh, SSL mutual and I will authorize two different uh, uh, groups of users one from uh, an internal identity provider and the subscribers and another group I'll pick from an LDAP identity provider. So modeling this in layer 7 is very straightforward but I might still want to automate this aspect of the migration. So I will capture the policy fragment that corresponds to this access provision so that I can enhance uh, or customize, if you want, the, uh, the migration utility style sheet to replace this access provision with this policy fragment. So I'm going to just copy this uh, and put that in, in a text editor. Uh, these policies are just web service policy based. So if I copy that here, uh, I, I get uh, the policy fragment that I need to include in my uh, migration style sheet. So I'll just copy the, the, the portion here that I am interested in. Now to show you how easy it is to tailor the migration utility to your own need, I'm actually going to uh, remove all of those ASG assets that, that we just imported here, uh, both the services and, and uh, the global resources, the schemas, 
and I'll actually re uh, I'll, I'll modify the migration style sheet and I will redo the import. So now I'm back to the migration utility policy. I will open the style sheet where this is all happening. I will get to the, I'm, I'm just going to scroll down here in that style sheet and inject that policy fragment right here before schema validation. So I'm gonna add a, an if statement in my style sheet. I'm going to copy that policy fragment that I had on my clipboard. And I'm just gonna say here, uh, this is uh, happening if we encounter uh, a particular access provision. So we're just gonna put it that in here. So we're gonna test for um, contains that, what was the name of that provision? Access provision. To basic group. This is something that uh, either professional service team would do for you, but it's it's very easy to customize yourself. So I'm going to save that. Actually, good to go. Now back to the migration utility web page. I'm going to go back, put in the file again, the PPF file, and redo the migration using the newer version of the migration style sheet. Now back on the gateway, I see that uh, these services have been added. And if I look at the policy here, I can see that this uh, um, access provision has been added automatically by the migration utility. So from now on, all the services that refer to the same uh, access provision will have this automatically added. Now at this point, you would repeat a similar step for all other aspects of the AXG configuration that you want to automate. You can get as much automation as you need through this type of configuration. So this concludes this video. Uh, please contact Layer 7 Technologies for uh, any additional information. Thank you.